What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a quick little video. Uh, we have our module um, additional settings, our max capacity up, which is using an energy activator to increase <clears throat> the overall max capacity of your weapon, which will in turn allow you to add not only additional modules to your weapon, but allow you to increase them so it's easier to have more of these so your guns will do more damage or more support <clears throat> or more buffs depending on which gun you're actually going to do this on so you do get a free one and then you're also going to get another one of these once you complete the regular campaign you do not have to complete it on hard mode to my knowledge so you're going to get a second one so you can see that this goes from 44 to 74 which is pretty awesome when you do get your gun the proficiency level is 26. When you max the proficiency level, your module capacity will max at 50, which is great. You can see that I have a lot of upgrades already. Um, I can't upgrade all of these to the max yet because I do have to get a master rank of at least 10 to uh, max these ones, like rifle reinforcement to max this, I have to be at 10. So we'll be able to get it pretty close, but I wanted to make a quick video showing how to do this and how important it is to be very careful about when you select to do this because as you can see when we go to do this an energy activator these are really really tough to get you can craft these it takes one day and six hours to do it however it does require a lot of materials to do and a lot of farming to get these so the two free ones that you do get i suggest you being very very careful about what you're going to use them on so for example I'm going to use this on the Thunder Cage. This is arguably one of the best weapons in the game, especially early on. Until you get into hard mode and maybe some other guns with some other characters. But this gun is going to allow me to use all my different, excuse me, descendants and just blast through all of the content. So I'm going to use one on here. And then the next free one I get once I finish the story is going to be used on a descendant. I'm not sure which one it's going to be because all I have is Viesa, Bunny, and I'm currently have Freya waiting to be unlocked. So how this works is pretty simple. You can do this from your inventory. You don't actually have to go back to the home base to do this. So you just come over here to module additional settings, max capacity up. And then we are going to just upgrade this. Now, as we continue to gain more proficiency, I know this says 74, but this will go up and will eventually be at 80. So I'm going to execute the max module uh, capacity up on the thunder cage boom capacity completed up to 75 so now we have so much more room so now i can actually go on here and just add a bunch of other things if i want on top of upgrading <clears throat> in the spirit of not going back to town to upgrade what i am going to do is just add some stuff here which will make this uh very very good so let's go grab better concentration uh, we want better insight which is really good and then we could add more rounds electric gun barrel electric attack fire rate is minus six percent we definitely don't want that and then probably we could add i guess maybe more rounds which would be kind of nice for now and we'll just save this so now we got a huge buff our dps went up now we'll be able to upgrade these and just have an absolute blast with the gun. So yeah, guys, just want to show you real quick how to do this. The module additional settings. You are going to get two of these for free, so just be very careful about what you do. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And as always, <clears throat> excuse me, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.